All right, my next guest is a contributing editor for This American Life on National Public Radio and the author of this very smart, funny book, The Partly Cloudy Patriot, which was just released in its audio version. Please welcome Sarah Vowell. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Oh, sure. Very it's like nice a whole to party or something. <laughs> it's a party here. Watch out. Woo! <laughs> 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 well, nobody does that at a party. <laughs> Maybe the parties you go to. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're it's a party in, in on a spaceship. Yeah, that's very nice. <laughs> Now, uh, we have so much to talk about. Okay, let's get to it. Very nice to have you here. I know that you are a, uh, you're a very uh, smart person. You're a very good writer. You spend a lot of time following the news, reading the newspaper, uh, you know, watching sort of intelligent They're stuff. They're thinking, like, she's going to be hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Too. No, watching intelligent stuff on uh -huh. TV, probably like PBS or documentaries. Sure. What do you watch for fun on TV? What do you, when you just want to sort of let your hair down and be uh -huh. a goofball, what do you watch? You know, I work in public radio, so I don't own a TV. Um, nice. I'm not kidding. I'm just yeah, kidding. Right. Uh, no, I love, 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 like all public radio um, people, I love Cribs. It's right. one of my favorite you shows. You like the show Cribs? Love Cribs. What's not to like? And, uh, you know, I was watching that recently, and uh, you know how you watch Cribs and you kind of fantasize about being on Cribs? And, you know, I was kind of looking around my fifth floor walk-up apartment and imagining Cribs in my apartment, like what I would show off, because you know Cribs is like rock stars and rap stars showing of rappers, off their yeah. um, their palatial houses and their cars and their, I think, bling bling. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> well, and, I'm sure you got some bling bling you just yeah, show off. Yeah, well, I would love to show things like the things that, like um, my Civil War snow globes. <laughs> or I have this like really killer photo right. of um, U.S. and Canadian diplomats signing the treaty for the Alaska boundary in 1903. <laughs> you know? And I thought uh -huh. maybe that might not be quite like cool enough for MTV. Right. And so, but the, I still think, you know, there should be a cribs for people like me and maybe it should be on C-SPAN. Right. <laughs> or like, maybe it's not even cool enough for C-SPAN. Maybe it should be on C-SPAN 2. Right. You know? And right. you could have all the people from book TV on C-SPAN 2, like, um, showing up like presidential scholar Doris Kern Goodwin, you know. And like, what happens on Cribs always, and Best of Cribs did a really good montage of this once, where they sh the rapper shows you his bedroom and he says, and this is where the magic happens. <laughs> Yeah. That's pretty much in every episode. Well, we could do that in C-SPAN, too, but it would, like, if Doris Kearns Goodwin, the presidential scholar, was saying, this is where the magic happens, she would, like, be pointing at her desk and her, <laughs> you know, her orange eye map or something. Right, right. This is where it all goes yeah. down, right here. Right. Yeah, that's, uh, that would be a fun show to watch. I would watch that. Uh, now, you, speaking of shows, are getting into a little acting, I heard. Yes, that's true. I feel kind of self-conscious about that, sitting next to an Oscar nominee and the acclaimed thespian of old school. Right. But, uh... sure. Look at how adorable you are. <laughs> yeah, I'm... I'm... <laughs> You're such a boob. <laughs> As an actor, I'm a voice in a uh, Pixar um, animated That's great. film. A like, Pixar animated film? They did Toy Story and Monsters Inc. and stuff. Sure. And uh, yeah, I'm the voice of a teenage superhero. It's about, it's, it's this movie about a family of superheroes. Mm -hmm. Like about a year from now, your kid is going to be playing with an action figure of me. That is so cool. Yeah. Has it, have you seen any uh, footage yet? Have they shown you? Yeah, they actually showed some, uh, some uh, previews during, they showed Toy Story on TV a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And I was really excited to see some of the movie. And my character wasn't really in anything. Th and I thought, oh no, they cut me out. Because I don't know what I'm doing. And every time they call, I think they're calling to fire me. Right. But then I found out that with animation, I guess, the biggest technological hurdle of animating this film is my character's hair. Is making it, like, look yeah, real? Yeah, so right now in all the rough cuts and everything, my character's totally bald. Right, right, yeah. right. So that's not working out. But, yeah, it, when I get hair, I think I'm, I'm on solid footing. I was really mad because I'm pretty sure I've been ripped off by a cartoon character. Can you show this? It's, and and I, I, I'm pretty sure that that... <laughs> this Jimmy Neutron... 
Tell me Jimmy Neutron is not based on me and my work. That's a, that's a little bit in the lawsuit area, I, I It doesn't think. seem right to me. Yeah. Um, you, the, I, I want to mention the audio book. Okay. And one of the reasons I want to mention the audio book is you were kind enough to call me and ask me to play a part that's in, right. this, in this audio book, which I did. I was very honored to do it. And, Conan uh, is um, the voice of Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. With Don't laugh at that. <laughs> very Lincoln-esque. I am Lincolnian. He is, is Lincoln-esque. I evoke Lincoln. Totally. I mean, I'm, people know you, some people know you for this little show. Yes. But I think you're most famous. <laughs> no, no. Oh. My little, I meant, oh. I meant beloved. Beloved little America. show, yeah. Like a little choo-choo train that could. Thank you. And, uh, but Thank I you. I think you're most famous for the fact that you're the exact height of Lincoln. You know what? I am exact. Lincoln was 6'4". Mm -hmm. I am 6'4". Lincoln uh, was uh, t had de was very depressive, and uh, I have uh, I'm a depressed guy sometimes. Yeah. Link bone had uh, Lincoln had link bone. Lincoln had very high cheekbones. I call him link bone on cribs. Uh, I. Uh, I know. Well, you know, this summer I found out I'm the exact height of Lincoln's Secretary of State Seward. Yes. So, like, when I was shaking your hand, that was like that was like Lincoln and Seward. That's all the over exact again. heights. I bet. There was a couple of kids in the audience that when we shook hands, when you came out, I, a couple of them shouted out, it's like Lincoln and Seward. <laughs> but, um, and then kids around them immediately beat them up and gave them wedgies. You know how uh, when you went to Lincoln's house in Springfield, I you went told there. me uh, that your face was framed in Lincoln's shaving mirror? He has it, he has it at the exact height yeah. off the wall. The well, same I now. went there this summer and I remembered that and I wanted to see my face in the shaving mirror, so I jumped up a foot. Right. And I set the alarm off. <laughs> <laughs> you set the alarm off that Lincoln had installed, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, it has a mule and a bell. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a really bad alarm. Yeah. The Partly Cloudy Patriot is now available in paperback. It's also an audio book featuring uh, yours truly. That's going to sell. And uh, don't laugh at that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Vowell, thank you very much for being here. I'll be right back. Folks, that's our show. I do want to thank all our guests. Stay tuned for Last Call with Garden Data. Bye, everybody.